Hi there. I got a couple minutes before my next meeting, and so I wanted to show you a really useful little Linux shell utility for checking your shell scripts. If you work on Linux or Unix systems at all, the odds are you're writing a lot of shell scripts. If you aren't, you're probably not doing it right. Shell scripts have some disadvantages in that they aren't compiled, so they're slower, and you can't do compile time checking to see that variables are properly defined or that your syntax makes sense, uh, that it'll actually run, and typos can really trip you up. Thankfully, somebody wrote a little utility called shell check that you can run your shell script through and it will tell you what the errors are. I've already installed this. This is a, uh, an Ubuntu box with the most obnoxious color scheme that I can think of. And first, Let's look at my script. There we go, hdonline.bash. Uh, a little script I wrote 10. <laughs> I changed the, uh, the file date inadvertently while I was trying to make this video. It's actually, it's been 10 years since it's really been changed. Um, so I'm gonna run this through shell check. Shell check, we just say, shell check, name your script, and it's gonna tell me all the syntax errors I have. Here's the easiest way to make sure your shell scripts are nice. Just go through and fix all the errors that it gives to you. Um, here we can see it's warning me a couple of, uh, of a couple of practice things. You can look at the man page for how to disable certain checks. My favorite is this one. Look at that. Attempt may not be assigned, but attempt is. Let's fix some of these warnings. was the first one. It said, do not assign and export in one line. I always do. Whatever. It's fine. Um, what does script do, by the way? It brings a portable USB hard drive online. There, I renamed this variable dollar sign attempts. This is still bad form. I'm accessing a variable globally, bad scope. Uh, that's a discussion for a different day. And you know what? I can't type. There we go. We're not going to do that at the same time. And attempts. Oh, yes. Look, I'm doing math on a shell variable. That means I have to put let in front of it. So I'm going to save that change. Let's run it again. Oh, one error. Sweet. Line three. Maybe you didn't even know about the grep dash C. I actually think maybe it didn't, it didn't occur to me when I wrote this 10 years ago. Now my code's a little shorter, a little faster. Hey, my code's fixed. So, now, in theory, this is ready for code review for somebody else to look at it, and then they can poke more holes in it. Um, and now this is when I would check it into Git and save it. I hope you find ShellCheck useful. You can install it with sudo apt-get install ShellCheck on Ubuntu and Debian boxes, yum install ShellCheck on Red Hat, and brew install on Mac. If you don't have brew on your Mac, install Homebrew. You can Google it. Thanks.